Okay, we're looking at a dihybrid cross here, and it's two traits about chickens. One of these we have seen before, but they're addressing it a little bit differently from what we saw in the past. <clears throat> we saw before that there, were, there was an interaction between two genes for the comb on a chicken, and one was the rose trait and one was the pea trait, and in combination they produced walnut. We're not doing it like that this time. In this one, we are tracking whether a chicken has a rose comb or not. They call the recessive case the single comb. But we're not looking at any interactions with pea or the walnut trait or anything like that. It's just you have rose, yes or no. And the other trait they're looking for now is does this chicken have feathers on its legs or does it not? Feather legs or they call it clean legs if feathers do not extend down the leg. And they say they're going to take four birds that are all feather-legged and rose-combed, which is super unhelpful because rose-comb could be big R, big R, or big R, little r. And feather-leg could be big F, big F, or big F, little f. So for every one of these birds, we are going to have the genotype big R, don't know, and big F, don't know. And the question is going to be about filling in those blanks. So. create a little space here and the four birds we're looking at are there are two dads rooster A and rooster B rooster A rooster B and two moms hen C and hen D And all of them, for the moment, are big R blank, big F blank. Presumably we will learn more about them by seeing their babies, but that will be in a moment. And big R blank, big F blank. Okay. So, how do I organize this and make it kind of readable? Rooster A and Hen C... A and C produce offspring that are all feather-legged and rose-combed. So the offspring there are feather-leg, big F blank, and rose-combed, so big R blank. I'll try to keep the order consistent here. Now, they say all feather-legged, which means every single one of these had a big F. They don't see how many offspring there are, but if there are, say, dozens, and they're all big F, that suggests that one of these parents is het homozygous, that they're big F, big F. That means all of their offspring will get big F from them, and they're all guaranteed to have the feather leg trait. If both of these were heterozygous, big F, little f, then we should see 25% of their offspring being clean-legged, and that's not what's happening. So one of these parents is big F, big F. Unfortunately, we don't know which, which is annoying. So we can't use this as much as I would like. They say they're mostly rose-combed, meaning some of them aren't. And that means that some of them are coming out with single comb, little r, little r. And that we can use. If rooster A and hen C are producing some single-combed offspring, that means, means some of the chicks are little r, little r, and one of these had to come from each parent. So we know each of these birds must have the little r allele, and sometimes a chick gets that from the dad and the mom. Fair enough. This We haven't capitalized on this all-feather-legged thing yet, we may have to circle around and get that later. For now, I'm going to say we took care of mostly rose-combed. We've gotten everything we could from that. But the feather-legged, we may have to revisit. Okay, let's see what we can do with the next pairing. They say rooster A and hen D. They 
these two produce offspring that are feathered and clean so we get some feathered big F blank and we get some who are clean legged little f little f well this is good stuff if some of them are little f little f that means both parents must have had a little f to give so that tells us everything we need about rooster a and it tells us something about hen d she has the recessive allele too what does it mean that some of them are feathered? Uh, not very much. We knew that both parents had big F allele that they could pass on, so we expect to see some feathers, but we don't know... Well, actually, never mind. We know both. We know everything about both of these parents, so some of these chicks would be big F, big F, and some would be big F, little f. Either way, they are feathered. And they say every one of the offspring from these two parents has a rose comb. Well, Rooster A is trying to pass on some single comb. Some of his offspring would have little r's. If every one of them is rose combed, that would imply that the mom is big R, big R. That means all her eggs have the big R allele, and that means no matter what dad contributes, the offspring are going to have rose comb. So the fact that they all have rose comb here means one or both parents is big R, big R. It's not Rooster A, we have him locked down already, but it could be the mom. And so we get this. So that's good. We know everything about Rooster A and Hen D now. Let's see what we can get from the next info. Rooster B and Hen C, we are told produce birds that are feathered and clean. So some of their offspring are big F blank, which is not surprising. We know there's big Fs in this family. And they produce some clean ones who are little F, little F. Well, you've probably noticed by now recessives are gold and we jump on these immediately. If this offspring is little F, little F, that would mean dad had to contribute one little F and mom had to contribute the other one. So good, that gets us a lot of information. And then they say most of the offspring have rose combs, so we get big R blank, which is not surprising because we know there are big R's here. But some have single combs, little r, little r. Again, the recessive is really good information. This means they got a little r from each parent, one from mom, which we already knew was there, and one from dad, so this has to be little r. So we never did have to come back and get this feather-legged thing. We found that another way, and that's good. I'm not positive how we would have solved this if it hadn't come up from another path, but there are all four parents. We have their genotypes, and uh, I guess they said at the beginning that all of these for phenotype are rose comb and feather leg, but there's slightly different, there's a little more variety in the genotypes.